This is Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a tool you can use for building 3D models that can be printed on the 3D printer in the LLC. Tinkercad is a program that is hosted on the web. You have to get to it through Google Chrome. It does not work in Safari and it sometimes doesn't work correctly in Firefox. So Google Chrome is the way to get to Tinkercad.com. Once you have an established an account using your teacher's instructions, this is the main page of Tinkercad. Some things to look out for is your name. You can see that you're signed in here when you see your name in this area right here. You can also look up here at this menu, Features, Learn, this learn button is where you can go get tutorials and if you're struggling trying to learn something, ways to work in Tinkercad. This block here where it says Tinkercad in multiple colors is what you can click on to always come back to this page. Over here you can see um, the icon that shows your, that you're logged in and you can find things out. And down here you can see any designs that you have created. To get started in Tinkercad, you need to create a new design. This is the workspace that you will be working in when you are designing 3D projects. It says beta right now, and at some point in the future, this may go away because the beta view is the view that will be the regular view in a few days. As I said, the multicolor Tinkercad logo is where you can click to go back to your home page. Right here is the name of the file that we have created, and Tinkercad will always create a nonsense name. If you want to change your file name, all you have to do is click on this nonsense name and it will highlight. And you don't have to delete it out, you can just start typing. So let's just call this test house. Up here in the very top toolbar, the only thing we're going to worry about right now is this view here. This is where you need to be. If you're someplace strange, make sure that this little workspace, work plane um, icon is checked. The next toolbar has a number of tools that you may use while you're working. There is a copy button. It says Control C. Remember, you are in the world of Mac. So anywhere it says CTRL, you're actually going to use your command key. Here's Paste. Here's Duplicate, Trash, of course, where you can throw things out. Very important, your Undo button. You can up, undo up to 20 steps and your Redo button. These buttons over here will become active when you have an item on your work plane. Over here is your Shapes pane. This is where you can find items to drag over to work on in your work plane. When you build something in Tinkercad for 3D printing, you are going to build it out of these shapes that are available to you. You have other items available to you by clicking on the arrow, and you will see there's basic shapes, text, symbols, connectors, etc. We're going to be concentrating on basic shapes to start with. To the left in the workspace, you will see a cube. If you click on that cube, you will see that you can change the orientation how you are looking at the work plane. You can also do this if you two finger click on your work on your trackpad and drag the work plane. You can also have the same effect if you have a mouse. If you use the right 
button on the mouse and click and drag. If you want your work plane to reorient to its home position, you click this home button. And that's what we're going to worry about right now. So spend a little time playing with the cube. See how you can look from all angles at the work plane. Use two fingers on your trackpad to click and drag for the same effect. If you have a mouse, you can try doing the same thing with the right button on your mouse. Once you have done all of these things, please move on to the next video.